okay how web works okay so we already know that uh, in web there will be two types of systems first one is client side and second one is server side okay so in this client side so user makes requests let us explain using a diagram so that you will understand okay so let's see okay so in general so manaki a computer okay or mobile push yes ma right so this will be client ante so evaraithe so user interface oka front end ui part ni use chestunaru so those are called as clients anamata okay and there is server okay so mana website lo em request chesina response response ivadaniki there is a one brain anamata so this brain is called as server okay so whenever we are requesting for a website for example we are requesting for a www google.com okay so this will have a masked ip address okay each web, each website ki oka unique ip address anedi untadi okay so ip address like 127 132 141 so ila so each address ki oka address anedi untadi oka ip address anedi untadi so ee ip address manu roju remember chesi use cheyadaniki kashtam ga untadi kaabatti so the each ip address ki oka masked url anedi website domain anedi add chestaru okay so that it will be easy to remember and easy to type on it okay so mana eppudaithe oka device nunchi so mana website ni request chestamo so it will this request will be sent to the dns and it will be translated to the ip address and respect to ip address ekkadaithe a server laithe host avutundo so a server ki request cheltadu okay so request anedi so ila galtadu so request ellin tarata manu e request chesam oka website request chesam okay so request chesina website ki sambandhinchina files okay so google.com represent cheyadaniki em em files kavali em html files kavali em javascript files kavali so avanta so back to mana browser ki response isthundi okay so how the uh, this is how uh, the web flow works anamata okay so same way so if you are doing some login work okay if you are trying to log into some facebook okay so facebook loki mana login out and try chestunna so login request vachesi she will send the request login as username and password okay so username and password ni so idi database okay so ikkada ikkada request vachin tarata so ikkada mana server lo so deeniki sambandhinchina logic సో ఈ పా యూజర్ నేమ్ అండ్ పాస్వర్డ్ ని వాలిడేట్ చేసి డేటాబేస్ నుంచి రిట్రీవ్ చేసి సో కరెక్ట్ డేటానా కాదా అని వాలిడేట్ చేసి కరెక్ట్ డేటా అయితే సో మీ ప్రొఫైల్ పేజ్ ఆర్ మీ టైమ్ లైన్ పేజ్ సో రెస్పాన్స్ అనేది ఇస్తుంది జస్ట్ సెకండ్ ఓకే సో లెట్స్ కంటిన్యూ సో సో ఇఫ్ యూ మేక్ ఏ లాగిన్ రిక్వెస్ట్ సో దట్ ద రిక్వ ద రెస్పెక్ట్ టు లాగిన్ రిక్వెస్ట్ లాజిక్ విల్ బీ అవైలబుల్ ఇన్ ద సర్వర్ okay so that server will validate your data by requesting database okay and it will responds with the respect to data to your front end okay so this is called as client part which is our laptops mobiles okay or any website any uh, internet using device okay and this is called server part so this will be at somewhere in the remote place okay so using internet we are able to connect with this server okay so in this part so this front end part is handled uh, this front end part is uh, languages are html css bootstrap okay and some frameworks okay we will discuss about uh, front end part in detail okay and in the back end is python java okay php node js okay so like these languages are widely used for back end purpose and these languages are widely used for this client side and these are for server side okay we will discuss them in 
uh, in further slides okay so this is the flow okay so from our device we'll request something from our server and in response it will give some response to our uh, front end parts so that's, so that's how our web pages work will get updated and not okay so this is how web works okay so the next part is so what is a front end okay so front end development involves creating the user interfaces and experience of a website or application okay so we play, uh, so, sorry just now we have discussed about the what is front end side and what is server side okay client side server side okay so client side is the part where we deal with the front end development okay so the front end development involves so when you upset a web, when you open a website what you see okay the ui part okay like images uh, forms login form sign up form logout yeah uh, the images you posted on your internet okay all this called as the ui part okay so which is developed by, which is dealt by the front end development okay so in front end development what we do is we develop the user interface okay so the user when you open a website what he see is developed by the front end development okay front end developer okay so the in this front end developer uh, front end development while usual languages are html css uh, javascript are the main building blocks of every website okay so recently uh, there are they have been some javascript frameworks like angular js react J, react js okay Vue js okay all this comes into the front end part okay so which are used to design user interface okay so this is front end development the okay, next one is back end development so back end development focuses on building and maintaining the server side logic so previously we had discussed right so server side logic in the sense for example we are requesting for your login request okay so in the server someone have to deal with the login request right so they have to verify that whether there is user with this current email address or not okay if there is user so the entered password entered password is right or not okay so there should be some logic to verify this data okay so to do that uh, there will be some server side log uh, server side language so which deal with which deals with this part okay so back end development focuses on building and maintaining the server side logic database and application architecture that enable the functionality of websites or applications okay so one back end language which will deal with this server side logic and databases okay so for example in our context we are we deal with uh, python for back end context okay so back end developers work with server side languages like python java ruby php to manage data process request and execute the business logic of an application okay for example so when a user requested for a url so you, that url will request will be processed by your python application and it will send the required response okay so here you are python is the server side language okay so next uh, next topic is full stack okay so full stack app in, uh, development involves proficiency in both front end and back end technologies okay so allowing developers to work on the entire software stack of a web application generally uh, there will be front end developers and back end developers which means so front end developers will deal with the so what to show the user when a user website when when a user uh, accesses that website okay so back end developers deals with the what to uh, response for request sent by the front end user okay so basically there, there used to be two different developers to deal with both, both these tasks but uh, in recent developments uh, there is a high rise of full stack there is a demand of full stack developers who can deal with both front end part and back end part okay so to get uh, familiar to get uh, familiarity with front end part you have to be proficient in first basic three things like html css and javascript and then in the, in addition to them you should be proficient in one of the uh, front end framework like angular react or vue js okay so then and also you should be familiar with one of the back end uh, language like python java or php ruby okay 
so you should be familiar with any of this language and also you should be familiar with sql okay so when you are familiar with all these languages you you will be called as full stack developer okay 